there have been over 150 new features for 365 Copilot this year. And in this video, we are unlocking my top 12 new features that you didn't know about. So let's nerd out. A quick note before we get started, this video requires a 365 Copilot license. If you don't have one, then I've included another video below on how you can get one. First, we are going to start off with the general Copilot app, which I am accessing via the Teams app. And there is one key feature that I want to highlight here, which is Copilot Pages. So at Amy's Animal Shop, we are preparing for 2025 and we want Copilot to help us draft an annual review business plan where we want to identify our goals as well as objectives for the upcoming year. Once Copilot is giving you the output, then you can adjust it as you see fit. So you could say, make it longer and make it more formal, remove this, add that. But for the purpose of this video, let's go ahead and select edit in pages. Now, what this is doing is it is creating a loop page from the Copilot output. So if we go up to the share icon, then we can either copy the page link or we can copy this as a loop component which can then be shared across other apps, harnessing the power of loop. So here I have an email drafted to Mike and I'm just going to control V to paste that page. And we can see that this loop component has been inserted into this email. So here I have both of these emails open up side by side and we can see that Mike is collaborating on the document as well as Amy. So this is how we harness the power of loop and collaborate in real time. There's no more missing drafts or wondering if you are working on the updated version. Next, I want to move on to Microsoft Word that has seen some significant improvements for 365 Copilot. Right at the top here, we can already see some predefined prompts to have Copilot create a proposal based on a file or produce insights based on a file or even draft a business memo. There is also a space here where we can draft with Copilot which would be a very similar to experience to what we just looked at. But I already have this document created here. So let's now take a look at four new features for using Microsoft 365 Copilot in Word. Tip number two is refine selected text in Word, which is a huge improvement because previously in Microsoft Word, we could only collaborate with Copilot in this right navigation. We didn't have Copilot at our fingertips within the actual Word document. Just going to close out of here. And now if we select this text, then we can select the co-pilot icon and a few options appear. So we could, for example, go put this in bullet points and we'll just press enter. And then now co-pilot is going to regenerate or rewrite the text based on our custom prompt. I'm just going to go and delete that. Or we can use this auto rewrite feature which is so handy if you have text and it's just not really flowing or sounding the way that you want it to. And the great thing about this auto rewrite feature is that there are three generations created that you can toggle through at the top here and pick the one that suits you best. And if you still aren't happy, then we can use this additional area here to provide further prompts to customize the auto rewrite with Copilot. Then once you are happy, you have two options, which is super helpful. So you can simply take this output and replace the text that you've highlighted, which will keep your document nice and clean. Or you can insert this below, which is going to now give you both of the options that you can take bits and pieces from both of them and customize your document as needed. Building on our previous tip number three is how we can visualize our text as a table. So here we have our goals for next year and it's just a little bit difficult to read. So if we select this Copilot icon, then we can visualize as a table. So now Copilot is going to take your text and it's going to rearrange it and put it in a table that is nice and easy to navigate. And the one thing that I really like about this feature is that we can even customize it further. So say we have this current stage column here and we find that it's just cluttering or just providing not necessary information, then we can customize this prompt to say, remove the current stage column. And we'll just toggle here to generate. And now it is going to regenerate our table and remove that column. Once you are happy, then we can go and keep it. 
Tip number four is image generation directly in Microsoft Word. So if we go up to this co-pilot icon, then we will see some of these predefined prompts. So let's go create an image and we will do a blue healer having a bubble bath. If you haven't seen Copilot do this image generation, then you are in for a treat. This is a great way for you to enhance your documents and anything in your Microsoft 365 suite with beautiful images. So it does take a little bit of time. There are image boosts in your Microsoft 365 subscription. So if you do have that license, then you are going to be getting a faster image generation than other people that are just operating on a free co-pilot. So here we can see those images and you can just select the one that you like and then we can go insert. Now I'm only able to get this to insert into the top of the document, but you can easily select your image, control X to cut it up from the top. And then you can simply select where you want it to go on the document and then control V and you can easily move your images around like that. Tip number five is an improvement to the summarize feature. So here on the copilot pane, we can see summarize this doc and then you can insert how you want it to summarize. Let's go ahead and accept the default of three key points. Now this summarize feature has always been available in Copilot within Microsoft Word, but it is now able to summarize documents that are four times greater than it was originally programmed to do. So Microsoft says that the sweet spot at the moment, at the time of recording is about 80,000 words, which works out to be a few hundred pages. So I would say that for most of us, the summarize feature is um, covered and it's a great improvement. So as we can see, Microsoft Word has seen some great improvements overall to the Copilot experience and new features to come are going to be the auto summary as well as coaching. So stay tuned for those. Moving on to PowerPoint, number six is the Narrative Builder, which is a huge improvement for creating presentations with Copilot in PowerPoint. From the top left, we'll see this little Copilot icon and we can go create a presentation about, and this is going to open up that narrative builder. So let's ask Copilot to create a presentation about the implementation of our private dog boarding services for next year. So here we can see that Copilot is creating an initial layout for our presentation, which is so great because we now have an opportunity to fine tune this draft before the slides are actually created, which before the presentation was just created, so it wasn't that flexible. Now, at the top here, we can select add and add a topic about, and we can press forward slash, and now we can pull our files and we can say that we want to add a slide about this file. So then if we select enter, then that is now going to insert a slide right where we defined it to pulling information from the contents or your other Microsoft 365 documents. So that is super helpful. Then if you decide that you don't want to have this slide here, then we can just select this little delete topic. And then we can also select the little grids on each of these slides and we can reorder them as needed. So there is a lot of flexibility and a lot of customization here. Once you are ready, then we can generate slides. And here is our presentation that has been created in literally minutes with already pre-populated content and images. I'm just going to go up and adjust the view of this presentation. And then now from the home ribbon, we can collaborate with Copilot on the right hand side. So similar to Microsoft Word, we can have Copilot generate images that we can insert into our PowerPoint presentation. And additional prompts that are quite popular are this summarize this presentation or show key slides in this deck. Now, if you aren't happy with the layout of your slides, then you can use Microsoft Designer and it will generate different ideas that you can make your presentation more visually appealing and tailored to your own needs. Number seven is Copilot in OneDrive, which allows us to get insights from our documents without even opening them. So here we have that Word document, which is the business plan. And if we select this Copilot button, 
then we will see that there are some options where we can ask Copilot to quickly summarize, create an FAQ, or we can ask a custom message. So we will see that the Copilot pane will open up, which is a similar experience to what we have already seen. So let's ask Copilot what our goals are for next year from this file. And we will see that it is going to be reviewing the document and it is pulling the goals from that document and we haven't had to open it up, read through it. So this is just gonna save you a ton of time. Number eight is SharePoint Agents, which is going to be similar to OneDrive, but now we are working at the SharePoint level. So we are now able to get insights from our shared documents. And if your organization uses Microsoft Teams, then guess what? You also have a SharePoint document library and you will be able to create a SharePoint agent to generate insights from your documents. So here I have our 2024 goals folder open with a breakdown of each of our goals. And if we go up to the top right and select create an agent, then it is literally as easy as that to create a SharePoint agent. So if we open agent, then this is going to open our agent in the right hand side, which is going to be that co-pilot for our documents. And this is going to be similar to OneDrive. We can get a summary of the key highlights and generate an FAQ or even ask SharePoint how we can use these resources. But what if I want to figure out when we are starting our training facility? So rather than me opening up our training facility document and reading through it, I'm just asking Copilot when's the start date from that document and it is letting me know that it is March 1st. It even has this little reference here, which references the file. And if we open that up, then we are going to see that the start date for this goal is March 1st. So this is a very handy and powerful tool, especially if you have a lot of documents for clients and you want to get some insights from your files. Back in our SharePoint document library, we can see that a file has been added to our folder, which is the SharePoint agent. And on the right hand side here, if we select the ellipses, then we can go edit. And there are some additional functions here, some basic identity sources for your agent to work off of, as well as some behavior for your co-pilot. I'm going to be doing a whole other video on co-pilot agents. So if you want to learn more, then keep an eye out for that video. Number nine is co-pilot in Teams. And this is where businesses have seen the biggest value with co-pilot. So there have been an improvement to the co-pilot chat experience when you are in a Teams meeting. And co-pilot is now able to reason not only on the transcription for your meeting recording, but also off of the chat. So say you pop out of the meeting, you need to go to the bathroom and you think that you've missed something and you want to catch up on it, then you can ask Copilot what you have missed and it will be able to reference the chat as well as the transcription to provide you with up-to-date and accurate information. Moving on to Excel where we have seen some huge improvements with Copilot, starting with number 10, which is how Copilot does not need to work within a table data set. So if we go up to Copilot on the top right here, then we are going to have that Copilot pane open up. So let's ask Copilot to add a column for profit. So previously, Copilot was only able to work within a table. So here we have a table like structure, but it's not in an official table format. So Copilot previously wouldn't have been able to add a column on profit. But here we can see that Copilot is now able to access and reason with data that isn't in that table format, calculating the profit based on our estimated revenue and estimated cost for forecasted goals. So if we say insert column, then we can see that a formula has now been added for us adding that profit column. Pretty cool, hey? Moving on to tip number 11, which is how Copilot in Excel can now look up data in other sheets. So here we are going to ask Copilot to add a column to look up the department head from sheet two. So previously, Copilot was only able to work within the predefined table that you were working in. So it wouldn't be able to look up data in the same sheet if it was in a different table, and it certainly wouldn't be able to look up data in another sheet. 
But here we can see that Copilot has now referenced sheet two, which has each of our goals as well as the department head. And we are now asking it to add a column to this table here that will be a lookup for those department heads. So we can see that it has pulled the data and it is even given us the formula, which the lookup column can be quite difficult depending on your abilities within Excel. So if we now go insert column, then we can see that that lookup column has been added for us. Tip number 12 is Copilot within Outlook. And there haven't been significant improvements since my last video on how to use Copilot within Outlook that I've included here for you to watch. But there are some new features such as prioritize my inbox coming soon. So stay tuned for that. If you do want to check out Copilot in other applications such as Microsoft Loop or even OneNote, then check out this playlist here on using the Microsoft 365 Copilot license.